Hello, how are you? Welcome to Other Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today, the topic is called Education for Older Adults. <laughs> So for awesome suggestions and advices, put me through the link below in the description section so I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. So let's get back to the topic now. Let's just start with the topic. So there are more in older adults. Here older adults I mean the senior citizens who are above 60 years old. They, they uh, take courses and participate in the education program in the university and as well as in the institutions. So as usual, all participants in the education program consist of a heterogeneous group. As, as older adults, they are no exceptions. So older adult participants, as they belong to the heterogeneous group, so which means that the universities and the institutions also need to cater for their needs in their, if they participate in the education program. So also we uh, have to consider about the elements for the older adults to participate in the educational program, for example, the elements such as the strategies, the location, and the techniques, and also the uh, subjects and the type. Here the type means the type of uh, adult education or their characteristics who are participate in the um, adult in the education program. So to say, we have mentioned about elements, now we have to mention the strategies. So we also need the strategies in order to in, um, recruit the adult, older adults into the education institution. So what are the strategies? The strategies are, for example, the formal education, their age, their health, and other characteristics. So I'm going to go into briefly into each one of them. So formal education is, so the further education is to serve the um, older adults in their interests, their ability and their accessibility into the program and as well as the um, the reward that they will get you know when they finish their continuing education and also we need to give them encouragement as well for age during the research uh, Robinson 1983 during that time he uh, there were only four percent of the um, older adult participants participants in the um, university or institution but now and then we have more we have more than 40 percent of the older adults participate in the universities as well as in the institutions for health what do you mean by health so health actually if those um seniors usually if they are in good health and they have a le higher level of social economy status they will you know they have a more intense desire to participate in um, formal and like to have associations with the uh, formal education, even though they are after 60 years old in uh, survival and as well as, you know, increase their um, health as well. In this way, they can uh, increase their uh, wellness, you know, and when they participate in the education, help them to have something to do, which is fantastic. So other characteristics include something like uh, uh, income status, occupation and culture, and maybe, maybe the activities that they join. Okay. Strategies influence the recruitment of older adults, also very important. What are the strategies that influence um, the recruitment uh, of senior citizens into the formal education? First of all, is a contextual uh, influences. Contextual, as I was mentioned before, was the about the elements and the strategies, like you know, formal age, uh, formal education, age and health. And the programmatic influence it, uh, those such as, for example, the involvement, uh, accessibility to the program, whether it is effective or not effective in the way of um, involvement, teaching, and also the meaning of the curriculum, whether they are effective for those who are participate in the program, and also whether they, the, they uh, have the sense of achievement, for example, like um, have they um, achieved the desired outcomes, for example, um, for effective domain, um, cognitive domain and psychomotor domain, which is uh, help them to have a sense of achievement. So if you do, 
don't uh, don't understand what do you mean by all these domains that um they are the cognitive theory so you can watch the uh, video from the link above okay now if you like the um the contents remember to um put your thumbs up and uh, share it with your friend okay back to the topic again so according to robinson so careful selection of learning projects for the elder, elderly will increase the probability that they will experience success and also thereby increase and enhance their self-image and their self-confidence. That's all for my topic today and until next week and goodbye.